Hey guys, Shell here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a montage like the one I showed you at the beginning of the video. I get a whole lot of questions all the time asking me like what effects I use and like what thing, like what I use to edit and everything. Uh, I use After Effects. I think it's a lot better than Premiere when it comes to effects and everything, and once you get the hang of it, it's really not that hard to understand either. So uh, for this tutorial, I'm obviously going to be using Siege. Um, these clips, uh, the credit for them goes to my friends Lonely and Ghostly. Their link will be in the description below. I actually accidentally deleted my entire video, video folder last night, so I lost all my actual clips. So that kind of sucks. But uh, anyway, so once you have your After Effects open, what you're going to want to do is take your first clip and just kind of drag it in what that's going to do is make a composition for you as you can see right here if you want to you can click on it go up to composition and then composition settings what this lets you do is rename your composition i'm going to name it yt for youtube uh you can also change your resolution in here your frame rate which is actually awkwardly at 60.002 so for example you just change it to 60 so as you can see the clip is in your timeline now so what you're going to want to do is take your song and what I like to do is put it above my clips so since the song isn't a video it plays the video underneath so which is your clip so what you're going to want to do is find in the song where about you want your montage to start for video's sake I'm just going to find where the beat starts so the beat starts right around here so once you find where the beat starts, you're just going to take this marker tool over here and just drag to the left and hold shift so it snaps to your blue thing. So there, the beat will be on that marker and you know where the beat is. And at the same time, I'm going to cut the beginning of both the song and the clip because I want the montage to start right before the beat drops. So you can hit Control shift d to split your clip and then you can just delete the beginning because we don't need it and the same with the song and then you can click and sh you can click shift both of these and just drag this to the beginning of your timeline which is basically just where the video is going to start and then also if your marker messes up you can fix that. So I went and I fixed my timeline around, so now the beat drops right here, so what I'm going to do after that is just find where the first kill is, and I'm going to try my best to sync it up. So the first kill is, I think, right here? Yeah. So what I'm trying to do, so right there, this is where the kill exactly happens. So I'm going to sync that up with my marker, which should overall sync it with the beat. So uh, as you can see that works and also we can just delete this bottom clip right here because it's before the beginning of the video. So now we have this sunk up and since the other kill is close enough we don't really have to do anything to that. But as you can see like right around here this the clip just kind of drags on he doesn't get the kill there and I think he dies yeah. So you obviously don't want this to show up in your video. So after this kill, I would say, like right around here, you can press page up and down, by the way, go frame by frame. So I would say right after he gets this kill, like right around when he starts to unaim, I would drop this down, go to transform, and make a keyframe for opacity. You'll see why in a second. Just skip a few frames in the future, not too much, maybe like right here, and create another timeline. So what this does is... um makes these two little points here which represent the opacity so the second one if I put the second one to zero the rest of this is at zero opacity but then 
this one's at 100, so it smoothly transitions from 100 to 0. And since it's at 0, we can Control shift d this and just cut the end. And then bring this back up. So that what that does is it just makes the video fade out. And honestly, that's really all you need to know for doing the main part of the video. Because after that, you just drag another clip underneath. And as you can see, it fades into the next clip. So this clip... You just want to, again, find where the kill is, which I'm pretty sure is up on the second floor. So let me find that real quick. So it's right around this corner right there. So what you want to do is just back it up a tiny bit so the video has time to fade into the next kill. And honestly, you can go back to this clip, and since After Effects is like a layered based thing, since this clip is on top of this one, this one will play over this. So, you can just click the bottom one and cut this out, because you don't need it. And then you can see it just kind of fades in the next clip. And then right around here, he gets another kill. And then right there, after this kill, nothing happens for a little bit until maybe right here yeah so uh, what you want to do is just kind of after this kill kind of cut the video here again control shift D and then move this underneath to make things simpler and then just move back to like what I like to do is just wait until you start to unaim and then just drop down transform and then make two keyframes again and then make the second one zero and then you can just bring this back up and what that does is gives you that fade effect and then you can just drag this video underneath and as you can see we get that fade effect again it's blurry because it's a pre-render and then you just kind of drag this until right around this which is the next kill and then you just kind of do this rinse and repeat in, with all your clips and you just kind of make a downwards staircase type thing and as you can see now we have this type thing where it just kind of fades into the kills and yeah Alright, so what I did was I added a couple more clips, and I just kept repeating that like downward staircase thing, and just changing the opacity each time, so as you can see, it just keeps fading into the next clips that I use, and so far this is what we have. So, anyway, as you can see, there's obviously some problems with this edit, like there's a lot of things you can change, but I'll leave that up for you guys to tweak around with for your videos. But um, once you have this and you're comfortable with everything just kind of fading like this, you can actually right click, you can actually right click somewhere over in this little box right here, click new, and then add an adjustment layer, and what that's going to do is put this layer on top of all your clips which doesn't do anything at the beginning but what you can do is add effects to this layer and since it's above your clips it will actually bleed the effects through onto your clips so once you have your adjustment layer you're gonna want to put it above everything on your timeline so just keep with the top thing up here and this is the part where um, you probably are gonna have to go search the internet for plugins or just buy them because the plugins I'm about to show you are not free so I'll leave links in the description to everything that I use but like I said you could probably find these all for free online if you look hard enough the first effect I recommend adding is real-time motion blur which you can find by going up to the effects and preset tabs and just looking up RSMB after you installed it 
So I like using the pro one because it gives it a little bit more blur, but you can just drag this onto your adjustment layer. And what this does is it will add motion blur to your video, which just kind of gives it like a cooler looking effect and makes everything look a little nicer. So after that, the other effect I'd probably add is Magic Bullet Looks. Again, you have to install this, but once you have it, it's kind of nice. You can drag it on, it shows up under here and you can literally add any color correction you want and I'm pretty sure you can actually add custom ones in here too but for this video I'm gonna add cool just cause I think it looks pretty good and goes with the song pretty well so after you hit finish as you can see it makes the video kinda like this bluish tint color and since it's on that adjustment layer it goes across everything I also recommend adding Flickr, which is from a different plugin called Sapphire. So you just drag it on, it's called S-Flickr, and you'll see that you can kind of see it already kind of working. In my opinion, I think the amplitude over here is a little too high when you first do it, so I just minus this out, change it to 0.1, and that's just going to add like a Flickr effect on the montage. And after that, you're pretty much done. I mean, obviously, your videos are probably going to be longer than mine, and you guys are probably going to, you guys are probably going to want to make yours more thought out. But this is just the basics of After Effects and what I usually do to get my videos laid out before I start going crazy on them. So, so I think that's about it. As long as you get this um, downward staircase type thing pretty well, and you learn how to fade fade clips and. It's pretty easy after that. You just gotta add your adjustment layer and add some effects to it. And uh, yeah. Also, a lot of you guys had questions about my thumbnails. So if you guys want to learn how to make any of these thumbnails, uh, like the video and I'll be sure to make a tutorial on how I make these thumbnails. Because a lot of people don't know how to mask and everything. So yeah, drop a like and I'll make a tutorial on that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.